Hey, what's up guys? KH Media here for a second tutorial on 3D text. So if you didn't watch my first tutorial, definitely check it out before watching this one. Okay, so last time we just covered the basics of creating 3D text in uh, After Effects. So we're going to be diving into Cinema 4D Lite, which is a plugin that is included with After Effects. So I'm just going to go up here, create some text. KH Media. Why not? Drag it right there. Um, we're going to make a 3D layer. And we're going to add a light. And remember the shortcut from my first tutorial is Control Shift Alt L. And we're going to make it a spotlight. And what I can show you in here is that you can change the intensity of the light. I'm going to keep mine right around 100. And there's different kinds of lights. So I'm going to create my spotlight first. Control Shift L again. Show you another kind of light. It's a um, point light. And OK. And I'm actually going to just... Uh, I think I'm going to rotate this a little bit just so that we can get a little bit more of the 3D. Oh, I forgot to extrude it. So that, that's probably why I'm, you know, you can't really see the 3D because I didn't extrude it really. Um, let's do that quick. Extrusion depth. There we go. Now you can see what I'm talking about. Um, convex. Okay, that, that, yeah. So we can move it around. It's really like kind of just a lamp you would have in your living room. Wherever you move it, you can see, move it over here, then the lighting's on this angle, this side of the letters, whereas if I move it in front, it's on more of the frontal end, and so forth. You can play around with that. It's pretty cool. Let me turn on my spotlight again. Boom. Okay. And then, now what I'm going to show you is how to add a camera, and you go up to Layer, New, camera which again the shortcut is control alt shift c okay we're going to add a oh, what the heck let's add a 35 millimeter camera click ok and now we're going to go to camera one to get our camera one view on here and we're going to go to two views horizontal zoom out on this this right here the pinkish line, pinkish red line, is our camera. So if we move the camera in, then it goes close to the words. If we move it out, and so forth. You can move that around however you wish. Now, next thing I'm going to show you is how to bring this, export this file as a Cinema 4D file, and then we're going to open it in Cinema 4D through After Effects. Sounds really simple, right? It's not that bad. Okay, so we could bring our camera in, but just for the sake of showing you Cinema 4D, I'm going to delete it. Um, it will import my light, and if I were to have more lights, it would import those as well. It will also import my text, so I can design the outlines for what I want to bring into Cinema 4D essentially here. Okay, so what I'm going to do to export this to Cinema 4D is I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to go to export and max on cinema 4d exporter and we're going to click the second option preserve editable text maintain the ability to change font and text content because we want the ability to edit this in cinema 4d if we want to change it okay click okay and then we can choose where we want to save it Okay, so I skipped ahead here, and what you have to do after you save it as a Cinema 4D file is you actually have to import it here. So there's my Cinema 4D file that I imported. You can see the icon for Cinema 4D right there. That's what you have to do. So you're going to click on it, and then you're going to go up to Edit, and you're going to go down to Edit Original. And that is what's going to open Cinema 4D for you. So there's our text, our 3D, we have our light back here, and we I dropped this down up here so we can see there's the spotlight. To move around, you're going to hold down Alt, and then click with your mouse and drag, and you can 
pivot your view here of your object. It's really cool. So you're in like in a 3D atmosphere. That's why I really like working in Cinema 4D is because I think it's just easier to navigate once you learn the controls. Um, so we're going to move our spotlight out and we can also change the circumference of how wide we want our spotlight to be. So I'm going to move it over and I'm also going to up the um, intensity of the spotlight to 103, right around there. And we can just zoom in with our mouse. Um, your other controls are rotate R. So if we wanted to, yeah, so I selected my text here, click R, and then we can just rotate it like this. Um, if you want to go back to side to side, you can go to the, the manual to click on your mouse up here is the move tool E, but the shortcut is E. So you can move it like that, like that, up and down. Uh, what else? So just to show you some other, um, one of my favorite textures to use is glass. I think it just creates a very professional look and obviously you can lighten it up some more. Um, feel free to experiment in here. I'm definitely going to give a text animation tutorial in Cinema 4D next time, but I'm just trying to ease you in one little step at a time. Thanks everybody for watching. Please leave comments and a like, and don't forget to subscribe.